hello uh, next topic is here we are going to discuss uh, angular momentum matrices So the state vector here I'm going to define the state like this. This state vector. Uh, it is a complete orthonormal uh, set, which means state vector so orthonormal, right? Orthonormal. This state vector is belongs to the Hilbert space. So state vector will follow the orthonormal condition. What is meant by orthonormal? Follow the orthogonal orthonormalization condition. Okay, both it should be followed. And they can be used as a basis for the matrix representation of angular. This representation uh, here we are going to define a function f of angular momentum components can be represented by the matrix elements like this. Uh, so in place of uh, I am going to use that function. Function represented the angular momentum components. Okay, function is represented angular momentum components such as j square, j z, j x, j y like that. Okay, so I am going to write this function a m and uh, a prime m prime the rows of matrix will be labeled by j prime m prime okay and uh, the columns here i'm going to label by j and m so we know the the get vectors are the column vectors and draw vectors are the by the row vectors okay so first here i'm going to discuss uh, uh, which is very important one the matrices for matrices for j square and uh, j okay how we can represent it the angle moment of component of uh, j square and j so you now we know j square commits with the uh, j right the matrices for j square and j z will be diagonal therefore J square comes with JJ, right? That will be diagonal. Uh, whereas uh, in the representation of JX and JJ will not be diagonal, since uh, that uh, JJ uh, does not commit with uh, JX and JJ. So in case uh, jx jy is there. Here we got answer. I h cos j z right and uh, jy j z is there. Then I h cos j x right j j z j x is there. We can get i h cos j y. So these matrices, which means j x and j y, j x and j y, j j, do not mutually commit with each other. So therefore, these matrices uh, will not be diagonal. I don't know if it is not diagonal, where it will arrange. So let us check conditions. First, here I'm going to discuss with you the uh, j square and j j matrix representation. J 
this is j square here i am applying this j square operator on this wave function then we can get the eigenvalues right eigenvalues so eigenvalues of uh, j square is uh, j into j plus 1 h cross square so this is equation number 1 and uh, jz we apply jz equal to m h cross j into m equation number 2 so here uh, j equal to 0 1 divided by 2 1 3 divided by 2 and so on so m equal to minus j minus j plus 1 and so on up to j value right so if you want to know this why i am taking j is equal to 0 1 by divided by 2 1 and 3 by divided by 2 m is minus 0 plus j this entire equation i did uh, one video about this eigenvalues and eigen functions of double square and lz the quantization of angular momentum but in the video i didn't mention the quantization of angular momentum so what i mentioned in this specifically i mentioned here the eigenvalues and eigen functions of uh, j square like this so j square equal to i got h cross uh, j into j plus 1 and uh, jz is equal to m h cross in this video i discussed already uh, quantization rules and regulations so you need to go and watch that learn how we are going to get this uh, 0 1 divided by some integral values are there some of integral values are there this this quantization condition is very important to know each and every topic because of angular momentum is quantized. You need to learn this first okay, before starting matrix of angular momentum. So what I recommend to you, so during this uh, learning this quantization proofs of regulations and the eigenvalues and eigenfunctions of uh, the algebraic the derivation is quite complicated, but we need to know the how this uh, Orbital angular momentum eigenvalues are arranged. What are the conditions of the orbital angular? Okay. Let's stop the first uh, derivation. So here we have the first equation is uh, equation number one. So I'm going to multiply equation number one. So first you can multiply. Multiplication of equation number one. From left side, from left by the cat bit j prime minus. So, in case if you try to apply the cat vector or the bra vector from the left side of the equation number one, bra vector j prime and m prime and j square j m equal to j into j plus 1 h cross square and uh, here j prime m prime and j and m here many students ask me uh, this question if you apply the j prime and this bra vector here we are applying right here i write this uh, bra vector before the operator right like this if you observe here i didn't write any bra vector here uh, here right after this value i return the bra vector so why i am writing this notation here this j into j plus 1 h cross square is a eigen value the scalar value scalar value is not affected to net product of the derivative which is why you can write these scalar products outside the notation here j square is the operator j square is the operator we must 
and should follow the operated places. Okay, so you try to remember these things when we are applying the run get three. Okay, then I'm going to write this thing like this j prime and m prime j square j m equal to j into j plus one h cross square. So this notation I'm going to uh, write like this, so like a conical Dirac delta function. So j j prime delta m and m prime. Okay. Next, I'm going to explain uh, the matrix for J square. So here, the, this one is ket vector. This one is bra vector. Ket vector, we are going to represent the column vectors. Bra vectors, we are going to represent the row vectors. Okay. Then here, the, what is the J value? What is the M value? Okay. If you use the j is equal to one, first three, so you can use j is equal to zero, one, sorry, one by two, one, three by two. Also, you can take no problem. So if you take j is equal to zero, what is the m value? M is equal to zero. If you take j is equal to zero, okay, from this one, what is the m value? M is equal to zero. Then if you take J is equal to one divided by two. So how many m values are there? Plus or minus j, right? So then I can get two uh, m values. One is uh, up uh, upspin, another one is downspin. So and if you take the j is equal to one, how many m values you can get? So plus or minus one, right? So in between plus or minus one, zero also there. One zero minus. These are the values. Okay, then you can try to draw the uh, this matrix from like we did in the matrix representation, right? Just like matrix, matrix. so similar words of regulation, but it's quite uh, just this is J, okay, and this is M. These are the cat vectors, column vectors, okay. J M. J M. Okay, these are the cat vectors and uh, bra vectors. These are the row vectors. So for that, I am using one letter here. Cat vectors. Okay. These are the bra vectors j prime m primes. This means these are the cat vectors, these are the bra vectors you can represent it row. So in between these, I'm using the j square. Okay. So j square. Then I'm going to try to represent it the diagram. Uh, Okay. Okay. Now we can try to put this uh, j is equal to zero and m values. For example, j is equal to zero. So here the j is equal to zero, m is equal to j is equal to zero. So what are the m is m values? The m values are zero, right? And uh, yes, j is equal to one divided by two. J is equal to one divided by two. So m has two values. <coughs> that is a uh, plus one by two 
minus 1 divided by 2. Okay. Uh, next, if you take uh, j is equal to 1, maybe we can get three values, right? 1, 1, 0, minus 1. In the similar way, here also we can get the three values. If you take j prime and j value, j prime values. Okay. So j m value, if you take j is equal to 0 here, m is equal to 0 j is equal to 1 divided by 2 so m value we can get the first one is plus 1 divided by 2 and second one is minus 1 divided by 2 we take uh, j is equal to 1 m values we can get three different so that 1 plus 1 0 minus 1 okay right so if you try to apply this equation Okay, here I am going to tell one important thing how you can multiply this matrix representation. See here, here two parameters are there pair of delta function j and j prime are there, delta m1 m prime are there. First, you need to check j j prime is normalized or not. In case if it is normalized then you can go and check delta m1 m prime values in case this delta j and j prime is orthonormal for example here j is equal to 1 j prime is equal to 0 what you get here two different values Dirac delta function Dirac delta function ij right 1 m equal to n 0 m not equal to n right in case if you get 0 here so for example if you take j is equal to 1 j prime is equal to 0 then this condition is orthogonal condition so that is zero entire equation is become as a zero then no need to check other conditions so you can simply put here for example here is let us see so here j is equal to 0 j prime is equal to 0 that means it is not zero ground state right ground state both are ground state which means this condition is one next i am going to check delta m1 m prime see what is m m is equal to zero m prime is equal to zero ground state this is the one if you put j is equal to zero this condition first this is j this is j prime right zero this direct delta condition is both are same right same state ground state this becomes to one and again i'm going to check this condition m and m prime so m and m primes m and m prime both this one is zero this one is zero both are same condition then it is uh delta like condition is like this not normalized condition so then i want to substitute what is j value j value is what is j value zero zero in case if you substitute you can get answer zero okay this is the first answer okay next See here, 0 is there and 1 by 2 is there. Here, 0, j is equal to, j is equal to 0 is there. j prime is equal to 1 divided by 2, 1 divided by 2. Both are different states. Both are different state means you can get 0. So, entire equation becomes to the 0. That 0 I am going to write like this. In the brackets okay no need to check other conditions next here j is equal to zero j prime is equal to one so entire equation is equal to zero okay next one divided by two and one divided by two condition now it is better right see 1 divided by 2 condition and 1 divided by 2 condition. Will you take it? Uh, I think this. Okay. Yeah. 
Yeah. Okay. Okay. So here, sorry for the distance. Uh, here one divided by two and one divided by two is there. Sorry, it's one divided by two and zero is there. Then we can get this function is zero. Okay. Then we are going to ch check these two conditions. This is m plus one divided by two is there. So the condition is exist here. Uh, so here I want to tell you for explanation this thing. Uh, I'm going to tell you like this. Just write uh, j is equal to one by two is there. J prime is equal to one by two is there, right? So here I'm going to explain this thing first. Okay, here I got two by two matrix. Just see the explanation. So J prime is equal to one divided by two. Okay, and uh, J is equal to one divided by two, right? So this is the equation. Uh, J prime, M prime. Okay, j square j m equal to j into j plus one h cross square delta j into j prime delta m into m prime. So the first condition is here one divided by two, one divided by two. This becomes to be normalization, means one. Okay. Then what is m value here? M here I'm taking. This value first, I'm going to multiply this value. Second, I am well, I'm taking this one. I'm going to multiply this value. Third, I'm going to this one. I'm going to multiply plus one by two, then minus one. So then I can get two by two matrix. Please listen carefully here. Again, I'm going to repeat here. First condition here one by two is there. Okay, zero is there. You can get zero directly because. Uh, orthogonal condition second thing here 1 by 2 1 by 2 is there condition get normalized here then i want to check this delta m1 m is a normalized or not okay so then here m is 1 divided by 2 m prime is 1 divided by 2 m prime is 1 divided by 2 and m is 1 divided by 2 so put here 1 divided by 2 1 divided by 2 then this condition is going to work so then only you can substitute values. This both conditions are exist in organization condition. Then only you can substitute J value. What is J value? This is the J value, right? You need to substitute J value here. 1 divided by 2 into 1 divided by 2 plus 1 H cross square. Okay. What is this value? It's 3 by 2. 1 divided by 2 plus okay, 3 divided by 2 h cross square. So, therefore, therefore, 3 divided by 4 h cross square. Here, the answer 3 h cross square divided by 2. So, listen carefully here. Remaining all matrices. I am going to explain very fast. Okay. Next. Uh, one more thing is there here. 1 divided by 2 minus 1 divided by 2, 2 is there. Right? So all the conditions are same. And then here this condition is changed. Okay. 1 divided by 2, 1 divided by 2. And uh, this is the minus. Minus 1 divided by 2. What you get here? Minus 1 divided by 2. This will goes to 0 entire equation goes to zero then answer is zero here okay these two this portion is over this portion is this portion is over so first i multiply that's one by two into this one the resultant value i written here again plus one divided by two minus one divided by two or the number this is the second condition now i am going to Multiply minus 1 divided by 2 plus 1 divided by 2. Then we can get 0 here. Next, 
minus 1 divided by 2 minus 1 divided by 2 before that we need to check j and j prime j and j prime is already 1 divided by 2 right you try to recognize that thing here minus 1 divided by 2 and minus 1 divided by 2 so i'm going to using here the minus again minus 1 divided by 2 minus 1 divided by 2 then both are same state both are same state right then i can got normalized condition one here then i want to substitute j value what is j value here j value is equal to 1 divided by 2 so then we can get here the same 3 h cross square divided by 2 right so this is how we are going to calculate the matrix value Okay. I okay, just leave it. Okay, everything is clear, right? Next thing, 1 divided by 2, here, 1 divided by 2, 1, the entire equation goes to 0. Because j is equal to 1 divided by 2, j prime is equal to 1, so then condition entire equation becomes to 0. So no need to check remaining. Next, final thing is, uh, j is equal to 1, j is equal to 1, j prime is equal to 0, this, this condition is 0, j is equal to 1, here 1 divided by 2, 1 divided by this is 0, then final one, here, uh, here j is equal to 1, j prime is equal to 1, then we can check the condition of it, so this is equation right, j prime, m prime, j square, j into m equal to uh, j into j plus 1 with cross square delta j into j prime m into m prime. Okay. Uh, here j is equal to 1. Okay. j prime is equal to 1. So then this is normal. Then we can check this condition. In case if it is 0, then no need to check the other condition. So now I am going to check the second condition. What is the second condition? This is m bar is right. Uh, m value 1, m prime value 1, m value 1, m prime value 1. So remember, first I am taking this m, okay? Then I am going to multiply this m into this m into m prime, m into m prime value 0. Here m prime value 1, m prime value. Then I can got here the 3 by 3 matrix, maybe. okay? by 3 matrix i want to check these values so first i'm going to check m is equal to 1 m is equal to 1 right so this term is also 1 so both are existing relation condition then yes right okay both are existing normalization condition then we need to Substitute j value. So what is j value here? J value 1. Put j value 1. J value 1 plus 1. So what is the value? 2h cross. So therefore, therefore here, this one is 2h cross. 2h cross. Next. So no need to check again this condition. This condition is already there. Then, m, this is m prime. Okay. m value 1. What is m prime value here? m prime value m prime equal to 0 right then entire equation becomes to 0 next this condition is same this condition is same m prime value m prime value is going to change minus 1 this is 0 okay so like that 0 1 this is 0 only 0 0 condition is if it's 0 0 condition then we can get the answer to which plus then here 0 then here 0 then here 0 this is how we are going to calculate 
matrix representation of angular momentum values. Okay, this is first uh, uh, thing. In case uh, if you try to solve this thing, then you must try this equation. Okay, matrix representation of uh, um, JJ. So this is the formula. You need to try this thing. In case if you can't get this thing, just comment below. I will try to explain this thing also. So matrix representation of matrix for JJ. J prime, M prime, JJ. Here I am giving the, the final equation, right? M H prime, delta J into J prime, delta M into M prime. Okay. So you need to practice this. Thing. Okay. The next class I'm going to discuss matrix separation of J plus J minus J X J one. Okay. Total matrix separation one class. Eight.